Okay, now is there audio, and I'm going to have to read the whole thing again. Because <sighs> I'm really sick this morning. Uh, oh, I got to read the whole thing again. Uh, give me a minute to get a drink, and I'll read it again. I poisoned myself yesterday, for those who do not know. Um, I mean, right now, to have and has a mat here was not fun, and I may have to go back to the hospital. This is the craziest hospital here I have ever, ever seen. Uh, they had the medication that I needed on the ambulance, but they said, we can't give it to you unless we take you to the hospital. Well, I had just been to the hospital the day before, and when they released me from the hospital, um, they provided no transportation to get me home. They shot me full of morphine and put me out on the street. Hang on a second. I've got a cat that just is nuts today. M. M. Hey. No, no, buddy. Not today. We're not going to play that game. Get out. Come on, M. Excuse me while I get him off the TV. Get off the TV. You are not a celebrity. Get down. Thank you. My goodness. Show off. Uh, so anyway, I, I did a stupid. My toilet was plugged up and I put some toilet bowl clean, uh, de-plugger in there. And it didn't deplug. So my neighbor gave me some other. And the two did not mix. And we created this horrible gas. Which just about killed me and M. And it just wasn't good. And I'm having a little breathing issue. So you might hear me hitting my inhaler. Uh... So, can everybody hear me now? I hope so, because I am not reading this a third time. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, those who came in late, this fluffy is for later on when I start doing jewelry and stuff. I'm going to try to get some of it done today. I'm just trying to set stuff up. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Uh, I'm not even sure why I tried to do this. Okay, I will... I will read it again. Um, I am going to try to do some of the auction, the BIN auction combo starting at 3 this afternoon if I feel up to it. I'm going to do only going to do about 15 things. And these are mostly going to be jewelry items. Uh, I'm still working on so sorting coins. Uh, so coins will be next after jewelry. Uh, 
assuming that I feel well, I'll be doing this every day at around three o'clock. Uh, or I might go back to my regular times and do it then. I, I have not made the decision yet. Uh, get this back up here and read it again. I don't know why I did not check my sound. Probably because I feel like death warmed over. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sounds like sound to me. Uh, yeah, well, on those, I will make sure that I put the video up. And I have decided... I'm not going to do it on my jewelry channel. I'm going to do it here because I only have about 70 viewers on my jewelry channel. And I have over 700 on this one. So I think that's just going to be the way to do it. I want to thank... Cost spare time. They made an effort last night, at least Pa did, to raise some money. He kept encouraging people to uh, put some money in, and he shared the GoFundMe, and I got one donation, and I don't think it was even anybody from his channel, but he gave it the college try, and he made a donation, so thank you to Pa's spare time, and, and Hudson over there, that was really awesome of them to do that. Uh, I thought it was interesting, someone made a comment about somebody donating 1.8 million dollars to renovate a kid's park and i'm thinking wow you know i need to be that guy's buddy because i can't even give people to give five bucks to save mine so it, it was a little embarrassing and humiliating but i do think Pa and the person who made the donation uh, and someone pointed out to me that the reason that I was not getting any donations is because I made an announcement last month that I was not going to be doing all the big giveaways every week. But I can't. You know, I'm, I'm just destined to not be able to do that right now. I need that money for medical care. So, if that's the reason people are watching channels, that's kind of a sad state of affairs that they're only watching so they can win goodies. So, I appreciate you guys because you know that eventually I'll be back to where I was. Okay, so we're going to go back to that crazy Louisville Daily Courier list of funny money that was floating around in April of 1845. The, some of the descriptions don't make a lot of sense to me, but I guess if I were looking at the bill, it, it would. Uh, excuse me, folks. Okay, so for Indiana... State Bank of Indiana at Indianapolis. $5 bills. Vincent, I can't pronounce this word. Vincennes 
spelled with one N in the second syllable. The center vignette, a ship with some of the genuine have shorter and narrower than the genuine. Two dollars, letters, D.A.P. Andrews, Jr., cashier, S. Merrill, president. President's name well imitated, paper thick and rough, note shorter than the original. Five, close imitation. On the previous counterfeits, the head of the eagle was turned to the left. In the present fraud, it is turned to the right. I think I'd notice that. I guess people didn't pay that much attention, but I think I'd notice if the eagle was facing the wrong way. Fives dated May 1st, 1843. Letter AA. Vignette of two men. Uh, cradling grain between the heads of Washington and Lafayette. The genuine bill has a sinuous Sing similar, <coughs> sorry, vignette, but the heads on either side are those of Franklin and Green, the latter wearing the revolutionary cocked hat. Five dollars branches at Evansville and Richmond, letter B, various dates, signed S. Merrill President and John Douglas Cashier paper thin, and a bad imitation. Five dollars spurious paid D. Jones, November 9, 1828, at Michigan City. Vignette of a female in a sitting position, leaning on a plow and a sheaf of wheat, not like any of the true five dollars of the bank. Five dollar letter to D. Fort Wayne, Pay to J. Pratt, December 9, 1839, S. Merrill, President, H. McCulloch, Cashier, vignette of a female sitting on boxes and a ship at sea. Five dollar letter D, dated October 9, 1839, payable at the different branches. They are tolerably well executed, though they Bills have a generally rather dull, dead look. The letter V in the left-hand margin is too narrow and not well proportioned. The bills contain good portraits of Washington and Lafayette with a vignette of a woman on a ship. Five spurious payable to the branch at Indiana that Indianapolis to G.W. Dance, dated February 1, 1839. R.F. Morris Cashier, S. Merrill President, vignette of railroad cars, cattle, and implements of husbandry. On the left end, a large circle with a female in a sitting position, paper poor, the whole appearance has no resemblance to the genuine bills. Fives dated January 1st, 1839, payable to G.W. Rathbone, S. Merrill President, John Ross Cashier, can be detected by observing the names of the engravers, W. Dane and Company. The genuine were engraved by Rodden Wright Hatch and Company of New York. The spurious bills have for a vignette a man standing under a tree with cattle and etc. In the distance, a locomotive. Ten dollar letters, A, dated 4th of January, 1837, payable to D. Deming at their branch in Terre Haute, Signed by Fer J. Farrington Cashier, S. Merrill President. 120s and 20s altered from fives, clumsily altered, may be easily detected having retained the heads of the particular individuals as all the fives had 
none of which heads are on the genuine $20 and $100 bills. $10, the vignette of the genuine $10 is that of a hunter on horseback, while the counterfeit have for a vignette a view of a steamboat or ship. $20 letter A, payable at different branches, December 25th, 1842, on the genuine notes issued since 1838, the letter A had a small italic A alongside. This is omitted in the counterfeit. The vignette of the state house is coarsely engraved and the lines of the graver in forming the clouds are too visible and crooked. So that was what was floating around in Indiana. Pretty, pretty creative stuff, i got to admit. So, uh, the next state coming up, I believe, is Tennessee. That might be real interesting. Bunch of guys on moonshine out in the hills counterfeiting money. Mm. This stuff, this uh, gas that I inhaled is really, it, it can kill you. And so right now I'm having to really flood my throat. So you'll hear me drinking a lot hitting on my inhaler and I have this wonderful tea I highly recommend it it's been around for years uh, the singer in our band uses it uh, it's called throat coat and I happen to remember that I had a box of throat coat and that has really helped so I'm hoping that by 3 o'clock this afternoon, I can start uh, moving some stuff along. I got some, I got some cruddy Kennedys, but I got to look at this one a little bit closer. I don't have my good glasses on, but I want to look at it because it looks like a 74. It is a 74. I don't know if it has a mint mark on it because I'm not totally functional yet, but um, there was another announcement. I lost my card or buried it under, <laughs> under here. Uh, Yeah, I'm I'm trying to create a display for uh, my jewelry later, and I have moved a card with some vital information because somebody else is going to try and raise some money for me today and I can't find the card. So I guess I'll have to go into my email and tell y'all who that is. Because uh, I'm, I'm just barely functional. Uh, and it, yeah, um, I've had my channel a little over a year, and I work really hard. At one point, by now, I should be monetized, but 
at one point, and I have no idea why. Um, YouTube took 250 something people away from my channel, and they were legitimate people like family members even and of course i can't get an answer from them and at that point i had 800 people so you know i should have been um you know i should have been monetized already and I mean, six months ago, I did a giveaway where I gave away over a thousand dollars worth of stuff, and it was like two hundred dollars to mail it all out, and I had six hundred and seventy people at that time. It was a 666 devil made me do it and that was back in June so I don't know why they did what they did and I have never been able to pull myself out of it and, and that is about the time that I started getting sick Okay, it is the coin crew auction. Uh, and that's Keith and Angel over at the coin crew. Uh, starts at one o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure which time zone that one o'clock is. but uh, Today at one o'clock, coin crew auction. Uh, Keith and Angel will be trying to get a little something together for me. So I appreciate that very much. Uh, I haven't even really had time to look for any of the funnier stories. But I did like this column because it has about... 10 different states listed and what was going on in each one of them. And when you think about this was the 1840s when equipment was pretty, pretty crappy, you know, as far as printing, uh, that may have made it easier for them to pass off fakes, or it may have been harder because where do you get the printing plates? As you can see, I'm just um, experimenting here. I'm going to ha have to do some organizing. I had a, a real good setup when... Now, the coins I'm going to be able to put under the scope. That's not going to be the issue. It's some of the other items. But anyway... Um, I am going to go. I just wanted to come on and make those little announcements. Um, I, if I feel better tomorrow, I'm actually going to go and try to get some car wash quarters. We have not done car wash quarters for a while, and I have a couple of books that are just missing one or two. And I would like to finish those books. Because I 
do plan on giving those away. I have talked about giving them away for a long time. So, And I got to go through some pennies because I have this penny book that I have had for a while now that I got from Handy Andy uh, that only needs two pennies. It needs a 1954 and it needs a 1968 S. And if I can finish it, this will be the May giveaway prize. You know, what I what I did. Um, and I have, I do still have four prizes that I have not mailed out yet. Um, I, as I told everyone... Um, I'm only going to be able to mail out once or twice a month. Uh, so I have one for Elton Jones. And that belongs in the Elton Jones package. I have one for Less Likes Coins. And this one is a problem because... I did not realize that Les was outside the country. And since I awarded the prize, I have to mail it. I have one here for the Lucky James Eller. I, I bet you even forgot what you won. Uh, what is this? Some kind of nickel. Hmm. Well, no, I'm going to have to study that. Um, got one for Mud Swat. And I got one for Jaji. And those are the ones I have not mailed. I did send out a batch the other day. I got my niece to take me to the post office, and I did send out those um i did have two people uh charles was one of them and werner x over in germany um that donated their their prizes to the auction to raise money for my medical so I appreciate those two very much uh, I'll just have to get these in the mail when I can get to the postal office uh, and it's not going to be today that's for darn sure uh, maybe get my niece to go everybody in town knows my P.O. box number Uh, which, of course, is P.O. Box 96. So, anyway, I'm going to go and try and figure out what I'm doing here and get some rest so I can try and come back on at 3 o'clock. So... Anyway, I want to thank you guys for showing up. Uh, this is an odd hour, I know, but it's when I get up to take my medicine, so it's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try, like I said, to come back at 3 o'clock. Uh, I bet if I put a big giveaway on the open screen, I'd get 500 people. I, I, I just don't. I, I don't get that. 
No, but seriously, one o'clock, I'm going to be over at the coin crew. So I'm probably not coming on at three. I'm going to go over there, see what they got happening. So, uh, so that's probably the plan. And right now I'm going to go back to bed. I'm not feeling too sporty, but I'm trying to keep my channel alive. And the only way to do that is to, uh, get in there and do something even if it's wrong uh, <coughs> oh goodness i gotta get this stuff up out of my lungs that's the that's the deal so we'll see y'all later uh check out coin crew at one o'clock you might want to check at 12. I'm not sure what time zone that is. So, I will be getting some stuff up here for sale in the next couple of days for sure. I, I have to. My house looks like a bad flea market booth right now. So, anyway... M3 and I are very grateful to be alive. Uh, don't ever mix any kind of bathroom chemicals. Yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that I have a very mild case of COPD. And I found... The first two uh, inhalers I found did not work, and I was starting to panic, and then I found one that did work, so um, what kind of irritated me about that EMP was I have my own nebulizer machine. All they had to do was give me the little plastic tube with the nebulizer, with the uh, medication in it. But in order to do that, they wanted to take me to the hospital. <clears throat> now, the day before, uh, I had taken the ambulance to the hospital and about three o'clock they gave me a shot of morphine and about 3 30 they discharged me with no way to get home this town does not <clears throat> have a taxi service we don't have uber or lyft or you know any of that stuff we have a bus uh, yeah, I failed chemistry, all right, that's for sure. So anyway, this town does have a little bus, but it stops running at 3 o'clock. So I had no way home. What the heck kind of hospital shoots somebody up with morphine and then puts them out the door and says, oh, we don't have any way for you to get home, sorry. So yesterday they wanted to take me to the hospital and I said no because I'm not going to go through that again. Um, my niece was not available. My sister is permanently not available. And finally, an absolute total stranger whose wife was waiting to see the doctor, uh, his wife said, Go drive that lady home. Otherwise, I would have had to walk three miles. And, and, and I wasn't going to go through that again tomorrow, or yesterday. <clears throat> so I, di I did not go. <clears throat> now, today, I can probably drive myself down there if I need to. Uh, my niece is not available. She is taking her her sister i mean her mother 
formerly known as my sister. Uh, <laughs> and, and actually, yes, I did fail chemistry class. I hate, I hated science. Uh, I passed, you know, like botany and that kind of stuff. But chemistry, uh, no, <laughs> I did fail it. But I will be much more cautious in the future. But I call, I had called and called and called the maintenance number. My toilet had been plugged up for two days. And nobody was answering maintenance. So, you know, I kind of got to have a toilet. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All right, I've had enough. I'll see y'all later over at the coin crib about one o'clock some sometime zone. And hopefully people over there will be a little more generous than they were over at uh Hawes. That 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 even I could tell that was even bothering Paul because he just kept plugging, you know, he's like, come on, people, you know. It was kind of sad. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I got to go clear my throat and lay down. So we'll see you with some kind of wild story tomorrow. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Might be the auction. Might be car wash quarters. I just, it depends on how I feel. Uh, so I see y'all. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Bye bye, everybody.